him in a, a mountain, really. But uh, there's no reason why we can come up here. Nobody really uh, fancies us outside Highbury. So we can relax and uh, enjoy the game and hopefully get the goals that we need. You genuinely feel tonight there's no real pressure on your team. Could you explain that? Uh, well, it's just as simple. I keep on reading the papers and we all read the papers thinking that's a waste of, waste of a journey coming up here. Uh, it's a nice situation to be in, really, because we can go out there and if, as long as we can keep a clean sheet uh, for a long period of the game, there's always a good opportunity that we're only going to score some goals. They suggested they might pass on to the Liverpool players, but it was suggested by the club that it might be a much better gesture to take them to the crowd, which is what they're doing. And indeed, just before the start, the uh, Arsenal chairman, Peter Hill Wood, presented a cheque for £25,000 from Arsenal to the Hillsborough Fund to the Liverpool chairman, John Smith. So another fine gesture there. Let's have a look at the two teams. Liverpool with Bruce Grobelar in goal. Number two, Gary Ablett, who'll play centre-back. Number three, Steve Staunton, who returns after injury to the side at left-back. Number four is Steve Nicholl, he'll be at right-back. Number five, Ronnie Whelan, the captain with subtlety in midfield. And number six, Alan Hansen, recovered from a leg injury, another centre-back. Seven is Ray Houghton. Eight, John Aldridge, who scored in each of his last six games. Nine is Ian Rush. It means that Peter Beardsley is again a substitute. Ten is John Barnes. And eleven, the man with the fierce competitive streak in midfield, Steve McMahon. Arsenal, meanwhile, with John Lukic in goal. Lee Dixon at right back wearing number two. At number three, Nigel Winterburn. Four is Michael Thomas, so strong in the midfield. And five, David O'Leary. Sixteen seasons at Arsenal, David's had and never so close to a championship medal as this. Six, the young captain, Tony Adams. Seven, David Rowcastle, scorer of a stunning goal here in the Littlewoods Cup. The man Liverpool will really fear. Number eight, Kevin Richardson, contesting that midfield. Nine is the top scorer with 24 goals, Alan Smith. Ten is Steve Bold. Now, a bit of a surprise on a night when you imagine that Arsenal must really attack that a third centre-back, Steve, has been included. Number 11, Paul Merson. And the substitutes for Liverpool, Barry Venison and Peter Beardsley, for Arsenal, Perry Groves and Martin Hayes. Our referee tonight is David Hutchinson of Marcham in Oxfordshire. So, an immense task facing Arsenal. They've not won at Anfield since the season 74-75. Played 13 in that time, Liverpool have won 10. Bold is up there again. It's Merson on the far side that they're aiming for. But it was Bold's header here for Rowcastle. Tangling with Whelan. Michael Thomas getting to the byline. This could be danger for Liverpool here. And it's flicked just wide. The header by Bold eluded Grobelar. And Arsenal within a whisker of getting the goal they so desperately wanted early in this game. Burn and Richardson behind it. Adams has made a darting little run in there. And Smith! And Arsenal have scored. The uh, Liverpool players are surrounding the referee, asking him to uh, speak to a linesman. The linesman never hesitated at all, Brian. I looked immediately towards the linesman. Well, let's see here. Winterburn's kick and glanced in by Smith but he's coming across to have a word with the linesman now a crucial decision here
Whether Liverpool were claiming that Smith handled the ball, on the word of the linesman, so much will now depend. Ronnie Whelan looking on there, the goal's been given. And what a game we have now. On to Alan Smith. Ablett's there with him. Merson. Richardson. A chance here to miss. And Grobelaar was able to grab it. Well, there's John Barnes saying, come on, as he uh, shouts to his teammates, John Aldridge over there. Let's just keep it going for a few seconds more. Richardson is down again. He's presumably will have to go off and remember Arsenal have both their substitutes already on one minute to go McMahon has got the word from the cop obviously but nobody knows quite how much time the referee will have on but there's a real competitor and there's a man who really has earned a championship medal the faces of the players are something to behold at the moment. I think in a way, if Arsenal are to lose the championship, having had such a lead at one time, it's somewhat poetic justice that they have got the result on the last day, even though they're not to win it. They would see that as small consolation, I would think, David, but you can see we're now well into time added on. Just a few seconds away now for Kenny Dalglish. Unless Arsenal can mount something absolutely spectacular in the few seconds that remain. Nichols in there, Barnes is in there. Adams has stopped him. Barnes has beaten Adams. Aldridge is waiting at the far side. Adams is after his man, but Barnes will not be denied. Yes, he will by Richardson, moment ago, down and injured. Arsenal comes streaming forward now in surely what will be their last attack. A good ball by Dixon, finding Smith. But Thomas charging through the midfield. Thomas, it's up for grabs now. Thomas, right at the end. An unbelievable climax to the league season. Well into injury time, the Liverpool players are down absolutely abject. Aldridge is down, Barnes is down, Delgleish just stands there. Nichols on his knees, McMahon's on his knees. Suddenly it was Michael Thomas bursting through. The bounce fell his way. He flips it wide of Grobelaar. And we have the most dramatic finish maybe in the history of the Football League. The top two challenging on the night. And the title possibly decided in the last minute of the whole season. But wait a moment. Whelan turning it in. And Thomas gets it back to Lukic. He played nearly two minutes of injury time. George Graham would love to get out there and play himself, and so would Kenny Dalglish. It's agony for them and for the fans. As Liverpool now... For so long it seemed in command. Set the final whistle. Arsenal, the champions. A momentous occasion this for Arsenal. Coming here, requiring a two-goal lead. And snatched it in the most dramatic fashion in the last minute of the game. A hammer blow for Liverpool, for the likes of John Barnes, who over the season have produced football of the most majestic standards. David O'Leary helps Aldridge to his feet and Aldridge.